Today, we're gonna make some tiny houses in The Sims 4, but the challenge is that each tiny house is a different pack. Yes, this is the part three of the tiny house challenge, the tiny house pack challenge. <laughs> and for this challenge, I'm of course gonna use the James Turner random pack generator. And I'm also gonna use some spin spinny wheels to see how many Sims are gonna live in the houses. And last but not least, we also have a little spin spinny wheels for the type of family member that's gonna live in the houses. And I do also, of course, have some rules for myself, which is, one, I can of course only use the packs that I'm given from the generator. I'm not even allowed to use base game, not even base game. The only times I can use base game is if the item literally doesn't exist within the packs that I get. But I am allowed to use sauce lights because we have to see, otherwise this video would be shit if we couldn't see what was on the screen, okay? I need to see. But other than that, I am allowed to use one veto per build. So for example, if I absolutely hate the fridges that the packs have to offer, I am allowed to use one veto and use a base game fridge, okay? And that is all the rules I have for myself. And and as I said, this is part three of the Tiny House Challenge. There is going to be a part four also, actually, because for me, it is exam season right now. And uh, <laughs> doing four houses in one sitting and then editing the whole ass video is, um, it takes a lot of time, which uh, isn't good when you also have an exam to do. So I have to split this video into two. All right, so today we're only going to do two houses, not four, two, because Nora has an exam. So I hope that's okay. If it's not okay, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, so um, let's go on with this video shall we? Oh, we freaking shall! Alright, so let's generate for the first house of the day. One, two, three, generate! Please be good, please be good. Oh, are you actually? <laughs> the first pack that we have is uh, Star Wars Journey to Batu. I have no words. If you don't know, it's a very controversial pack, the Journey to Batu. And, um, I mean, it has some great items in the pack, but they're very niche. You wouldn't really use that many items from it in a normal family home, you know? But, uh, it shall be great. Alright, oh, and then we also have the basement treasure, okay? It. That's a good pack. And also get together. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it has some good stuff. Don't get me wrong. But it's also one of the earliest packs that we got with Sims. So it's kind of outdated also. But it has some good outside wallpapers. Oh, and then we also have the Crystal Creation stuff pack. Okay, that is good. I love that pack. Maybe I can make something happen. Maybe. Let's also see how many family members are going to live in this house. So one, two, three, spin away. Ooh, five people. I can deal with that. I am sorry for singing, but I can deal with that. All right, let's also see who these people are. One, two, three, spin, spin, spin. Ooh, all right. We got an infant. Who else do we got up there? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we have another infant. See, I don't like this wheel. We have two infants now. Please, no more infants. All right, we got a young adult. Good. I didn't want to leave my infants unsupervised, you know. Who's the next one? Ooh, oh, we got a teen. Who's the next one? Okay, an adult. I love some of that. All right, so we have two infants, a teen, a young adult, and an adult. That's a good, a decent size family, I do believe. I do believe. I know. Because it isn't eight people. <laughs> Alrighty, so here I am on my big and laggy lot. Yes, uh, it's still very, very laggy. Now, I did try the trick of building the house on a different lot and then just moving it onto this lot. But if you do that, you have to make the house into a room, which gets complicated when you have two floors and a whole ass uh, garden around it. Um, so long story short, it did not work and my computer crashed. So, <laughs> or not my computer, my game crashed. I gotta be fair to my computer. It was not my computer's fault. It's the Sims. So, all in all, <laughs> we just have to power through this, okay? We just, we just have to at this point. Um, yeah. So, let's start with the first house of the day. And I'm gonna put it right here. And what do we want this house to be? I mean, we got the get together pack, which really reminds me of the Tudor house style. This sort of thing going on. So, I think I want to do something like that. Hopefully, it will be something like that. I mean, so we can start off with a box like so, maybe. So, good start. And then we can just have a normal old box right there. Nothing complicated, but I can make it complicated. With my mind, everything goes to shit sometimes. Mostly all the time. But anyways. <laughs> then we can make a sort of the same shape on the top too. This is fun that way. Oh, maybe we can make a little indent right here to have a little balcony moment. A teeny tiny balcony moment. Teeny tiny. Okay, so right now we got some sort of a shape. <laughs> it's a beautiful shape. Now let's see what we got in the wallpaper section. Oh yes, we got a nice Tudor style wallpaper. So I'm thinking at the bottom, I want some bricks like so. Oh, I'm going into the house. Perfect. And then on top, I do believe I want this one. Oh, that is nice. Great. Made up my mind. What about the roofs? What can we do for the roofs? Maybe we can go something like so. Stretch it out to the back and have another roof that goes the other way. Masterpiece of a plan. Then maybe we can also have a little gable roof right here just to spice things up. I mean, yeah, maybe something like so. I have to see where I'm going to put my windows first though because that's important. What windows do we have? Ooh, we have these windows. That can be nice. Ooh, and I can also use some of these. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Ooh, and what about the doors? Do we have any good 
doors. <gasps> okay, we have some good doors. Use this one. That's nice. I made up my mind. And ooh, what if we have one of these windows at the back too? That could be a moment and a half, couldn't it? Yes, I know that my windows are not <laughs> correct. I did them all hoity toity oh, okay? I, I'm trying my best. But yeah, we can do something like that. I can make that work somehow. And now I need something to put in that little roof right there. But we don't have a window that is small enough for that one. And I don't think we have anything to put in there. No, we do not. So, um, what am I gonna do? <laughs> maybe, what if I put one of these in? The dormers, and I just squeeze it in with the tool mod? I mean, maybe that should work. Sure, sure. I'm gonna allow that, and we're gonna move on. Oh, and we're gonna move on to the chimneys. I want the chimney here. And then maybe, like, a big chimney on the side. I just size it up, yes. And then I just stack them on top of each other. Where the freaking effect did I go? Come back! But if I just stack them on top of each other? <laughs> sort of like so. I mean, you can kind of see the edges, but it's fine by me. Oh, oh, okay. Before I do anything else now, I need to do the layout of the house before I start with the landscaping. So let's do layouting. Is that even a word? I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, Tio, welcome back. I have done the layout of my house, as you can see, and it was um truly wonderful. Truly something. I had a wonderful time. I did. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so on the first floor, we got the entryway and the little hallway, and then we also got the dining nook over here and the kitchen, and right here we got a little half bath, and last but not least, the living room. It's gonna be right here. And then on the second floor, we got a hallway. Oh la la. We also got a bathroom. And right here is the infant's bedroom. And then we got the teen's bedroom right here. And then the primary bedroom. And an ensuite bathroom. And that is me layout. Ta. Ta. Oh, all right. So that was the layout all done and dusted. And now we shall begin with the landscaping. And that is always wonderful to do. All right, what are we going to do for the landscaping? I'm thinking I'm just going to do some sketching first. Just so we know what we're at in life. So right here is going to be a little walkway. As always. And then I'm thinking I want a big old flower bed right here. And then I want a sort of pond moment right here. And then we have some bushes right there. And a big old tree maybe. And there's some bushes all around. That's me sketching. Hope you liked it. Now we're gonna do it for real. Wait, hold on right a moment. Right a moment. Okay, but hold on. We're not gonna do the landscaping right now. We are going to put up some vines in the house. Because I didn't know we had vines. I want to put up some vines. Vines! My sweet, sweet vines and my sweet, sweet house. And it's gonna be a sweet, sweet moment as well. Was that enough sweet for you? Maybe. But that's the only word I know. <laughs> And oh wow. <laughs> what have I done to the windows? They're not supposed to be like this. But here, here are the vines. Oh, my house. I love them. Just want to put up some here and there to hide up the ugliness. And I like vines. All right, now we're going to begin with the landscaping. And we are going to begin with the walkway, as I said before I did the vines. So I think I'm going to do some pathing as normal. Some sweet, sweet pathing just all around this place. And I'm also going to put in some rocks around this place just to frame the whole thing in, really. And radio, here's my pathway. I don't know, it's kind of green on the sides. That wasn't supposed to happen. There we go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, here's my pathway. I lined it up with some uh, Batu rocks. Very lovely. And now I do believe we're going to begin with the flower bed situation that's going to be right here. What can I do for that? I do wonder. Wait, ooh, what if I use some uh, debug pencils, these rounded ones, and I make some shapes? That could be kind of fun. Well, all right. I'm going to make my freaking freaking flower bed situation the fencing going on. And that's exactly what I did. Look at that. That's kind of cool. And now I want to put me flowers in there. And do we have any good bushes? Ooh, okay. We have this pea bush. I can put that in the middle. <laughs> and just stack them like so. And what am I going to use around it? Hmm, very interesting. We don't have the greatest selection of bushes. I can maybe use these ones and those ones maybe and then just stack them around there. All right, maybe I can do that. And it's going to be absolutely lovely to stack some bushes all around, you know. It's my favorite hobby, stacking bushes. It really is. <laughs> and here is my bush scene. <laughs> my flower bush scene. I even on top there, if my camera can work, please work for Nora. Ah! I even put that little chess piece up there. That's kind of cool. I like that. My wonderful, wonderful flower bed in all its glory. Okay. And now for the pond that was going to be over here somewhere. I need to get my terrain tool out. Now I'm going to make my pond. If I can do it right, I always suck at making ponds. But I'm going to put some little plants in the pond too. Just for the ambiances, really. And I'm also going to put some rocks around the pond. Because what is a pond without some rocks, you know? What is a pond without some rocks? That's the question of life, really. Okay, jokey. So here's my pond. Looking all lovely jubbly up in there. And what am I going to do that? I don't know. But something. I can put up this tree. That I can do. Boom, chum, lam. And then I think I am going to put some bushes. These ones. All all around the build because those are my favorite bushes ever. All right, I love them. And I'm gonna put them in. I don't care what anybody says. I love those bushes. And there we go. There are my bushes. I didn't put any bushes in the front here because that was too much. I just put them on the side like so. What happened to my roof? I don't even know. But put us some trees and bushes. It's all nice and dandy. To 
today. Really? Alrighty, so I do now believe that the outside is all done and it's time to begin on the inside. Alrighty, so for the inside, we need some good wallpaper. Do we have some good inside wallpaper that actually makes sense? You know, do we have that? I mean, we have this one. That isn't that bad. I think I'm going to start off with that. Maybe in this color. Okay, I'm going to start off with that in every room and I'm just going to change it up as we go. But that is a starting point. And what about the flooding? What do we have there? Yeah, that, that is not good. Yikes. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we have some tiles. What is this? I don't even want to know what that is. So we got some more stone, more stone, more stone, 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 some beautiful stone. Okay, the stones could have worked if they were in a nice warm color, but they're all in dark, cold colors. And I don't want that for this home. They deserve better. So I think I'm going to veto the flooring. I know it's a bold move, but I'm going to veto the flooring. I cannot deal with that. And what flooring do we want? I mean, I think I can go for this flooring just for the start, you know, and we can change it afterwards. But that is a start. But alrighty, yo, I think we're going to start with the living room today. And what do we have the couch section? Oh, I mean, okay, we can go with this one. That's nice. I haven't really used that one before. I think that's a good choice for us. All right. Then we do need a coffee table. Do we have one? I mean, we can put this one. That's fine and daddy by me. Sure. I do love me a good coffee table. I really do. And what about the carpet situation? Do we have any good carpets? Yeah, and no. It's not the best selection. I think, yeah, our only option is this one. Really? But how am I going to place it? Okay, the stacking of the carpets just has to be like this. I've tried everything. I don't want to deal with the carpets anymore. It's just going to be like this. And I know you can see the line. I do not care. I am now going to calm down and I'm going to put this thing up and I'm going to put some crystals in it just because I can. I feel calm now. Thank you. Oh, and by the way, do we have a fireplace? We do. It's not my favorite fireplace ever, but it is uh, good enough for now. Yeah, no. All right, let's just put up some um, fireplace niggity necks and see if we can save this uh, thing. This fireplace thing, I mean. Oh, and also a painting that I sized up. Boom. I mean, that isn't half bad. Put up an old TV, some statues, some flowers, some books. All right, yeah. And yes, those books are from the base game, but I'm going to allow that because I don't see that little book stack as a bookshelf. You know, they're not the same thing for me. That's just for decorations. Please save me from this misery. Ooh, but we have these uh, stony carpets. Why did I do that? They are stones, but they are carpets. That was the right move. I think I'm just going to put them under the fireplace so we get a little stony moment. Sort of like so. Never the back there. I want a stony wall. Why is my window like that? Oh my gosh. But I want a stony wall. And oh, I do not like that. I want the wall to be in the middle of that tile. Oh, what am I going to do then? I don't even know. Oh, I'm like, not actually like, do we have something? I'm going to find something. I, I am. All right, we have these uh, things. Maybe if I just squeeze them into the wall and all that shebang, maybe that could work. Please say that I can work. I want it to work. Well, it does kind of work, doesn't it? Please say that it works. I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> I, I like it for now. Maybe I can put up a little plant to hide up the ugliness. Boom, shamalama did it. And I can put up a table right there. And what can I put on that table? Oh, what is that? DJR3 exterior. Okay, you're going to be on that table. I don't know what you are, but sure. <laughs> I just have to say for a little warning <laughs> for this house, I have never really seen Star Wars before. Like, I have seen the original Star Wars trilogy. You know, the first ones that came out. But I saw that when I was like 10 years old and I didn't really understand anything. And I haven't really watched anything else than that. Um, so my knowledge of Star Wars is pretty slim pickings, I do gotta say. And I know that some of the plants are sticking through the walls, but I'm gonna fix that in the end. Okay, I promise you. <laughs> but right, and now I did have a little thinkity thought. And that thinkity thought was that I wanted to make a little platform. Like so. Because this living room is so long, we need to chop it off a little bit. You know, so there's my platform. Got a platform moment. What am I gonna have on that platform? Only time will tell people. I think I want to put up this foosball table right in the middle. That could be fun for us. And maybe this carpet. Can I make that work? Yeah, okay, I can make that work. Maybe. And what about a lamp in the corner? We are lacking for lamps, so there you go. And a random chair for some reason. And a picture of a scary woman. And another plant in the corner. Oh, and we can have this little chalkboard thing over there. You know, they're tracking their games. I think that is a smart move. Or is it just a normal move? I don't even know. Oh, right. Now the big question, people. Oh, the big questions of life. The curtains. Do we have any good curtains? Please say that we have some good curtains. Oh, hold on. We don't have any curtains. These are not curtains. These are awnings. Let's get real. These are not curtains. These are awnings. So I can use base game curtains. Good. Oh, not good. Because base game curtains can be good, but they can also be horrible. So, um, oh, what am I going to do? <laughs> Maybe I can put up these curtains. Also decent. I, yeah, sure. Not happy, but I am going to put that up. Oh, what about this big old window? What am I going to do for that one? Maybe this curtain. Sure. And that is indeed what I did with the curtains. They look okay. This room is kind of cool though. I like the living room. It's kind of nice, kind of neat. Yeah, sure. Moving on. And we're going to move on to the kitchen. What are we going to do for the kitchen? Nora's going to find that out right now after she goes to the bathroom because I really need to go to the bathroom. And now I am back. So, <laughs> where were we? Oh my gosh, my headphones are talking to me. Well, that was scary. All right, we're back now. <laughs> 
first of freaking all, do we have any fridges? No, we do not. Do we have any stoves? No. Any counters? No. Cabinets? No. What do we have? Oh, I mean, we have coffee machines. All right. It's going to be a very base game kitchen, I do got to say. <laughs> but we're going to power through. What about these counters? Oh, lovely. What about the stove? Maybe we can go for this stove. That's okay. And what about the fridge? You can go with that fridge. Made up my mind. And I do believe I want some different wallpaper and flooring. So for the flooring, I really want to use those hexagon ones. That is cool. I like that. Do we have those small little fences to just divide up the room? No. Oh, we do not. Should be good. Okay. I got to figure out what to do with that. But um, what about the wallpaper? <laughs> Wait. Ooh. What if I go with a dark vibe? That could be funky. I like that. Or do I like that? Uh, I shall see. I have to put up my cabinets. Okay. I put up my cabinets all neat and nicely. Looking lovely. And now I need to find some nickety knacks to put on the kitchen counter. <laughs> I mean, there isn't much hope. I do gotta say. Look at this. What, what, what is this? And what am I gonna do with that? Oh my gosh. That kind of reminds me of Lilo and Stitch. But I'm guessing it's not that. Why would it be that, Nora? I, all right. But, but we have some things. Okay. I'm gonna find some things and I'm gonna put up some kitchen nickety knacks. And <laughs> I promise not to cry. Okay. That is a promise. I promise not to cry. And there you go. I put up my naked and eggs in the kitchen. I tried my hardest. I mean, I found some good stuff. You know, I got some vases. I got that little thing. Can't remember what it's called. But it's probably called something. Got some dried herbs. Some more vases and stuff. And my little coffee corner. Boop -bop -bop -bop. I wish we had some cups. But I couldn't find any cups. So we don't have any cups. Now for the dining room. Do we have a nice dining table? Ooh, a pub table. Oh, that is cool. But I want the smaller one. We're not a big family. We're a tiny family. No, we're five people. We're a medium-sized family. Or a little big family. Little big family. Nora, can you please stop talking? I'm gonna put up your chairs. And I'm also gonna put up a carpet. Boom. Shamalam. And what can we have on that wall right there? Ooh, what about this? Some coffee stuff. Well, I like that vibe. And then we could just have a random light in the middle. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But we are gonna have infants. And infants uses high chairs, don't they? So we need some high chairs. Do we have any high chairs? I mean, of course not. I'm gonna go into base game, find some high chairs. Do I want them to the table? That looks weird. I don't want that. We have two infants. Ah, oh, yikes. Maybe I can squeeze them in here. I don't know where else to put them. Really? Little monsters. They can be there. I... <laughs> Sorry for calling you monsters, but it's just the truth. The truth. All right, so now for the bathroom, the half bath that was going to be in here. I think I want some hexagon tiles. So that's nice. <laughs> and what about the wallpaper? Ooh, we can have a moody bathroom. Okay, I like that. <laughs> do we have a sink? Oh, yes, we did. Do we have some mirrors? Oh, yes, we do. A bit of that mirror. Ja. Oh, and we even have some hand towels. Oh, that is good. What else? I really like that. Boom. Now, do we have a toilet, though? We do not have a toilet. And no, I'm not going to use the pee bushes. Oh, that's one. Oh, that is massive. Uh, we're going to have a nice family home. So I'm gonna get them a normal toilet, like normal people would. Boom, shambalam. With also some toilet paper. Because I'm not an absolute monster. Not today, at least. All right, now for the hallway and the entryway. What can we do in here? I mean, I do think I want the change of the flooring to the bricks, the stony bricks. Is that something you would find in an entryway? We have that, at least. So I'm gonna do that. Now for the entryway, I would like to put up an entryway table, but I don't think we can squeeze that in, because there's a door everywhere. So I could, indeed, put up a shelf and then put some shelf nicky knacks on that. That's gonna be lovely. And it was also, indeed, very lovely. I like that. Maybe you can also put up a carpet. This one might do. Not my first choice, but it is a choice. All right, now for this hallway. What can we do in here? I can put up this hallway table. The old TV. Sure. And can I find some Nicky Nacks to put on that table, though? That is the big question. I mean, yeah, I kind of did. I don't know what that cube is, but I put it up, <laughs> hoping to not get cursed. And also put up a painting. <laughs> All right. What am I going to do for the carpet situation? Is uh, Oh, yikes. Okay, I want a little carpet runner, but how am I going to do that? I don't even know. We don't have a carpet runner. All right, I just did this. I know it's horrible. I know. No, but we are moving on and we're never looking at that again. And I'm instead going to put up this skull. Boop. And that frickety frickety plant over there. Bum, bada, bum. Okay, now for the second floor. Yes, we're on the second floor, people. Catch up. I think I want to start with the bedroom. Do we have any beds? Of course we don't have any beds. Why would we have any beds? I mean, we have some bushes, but they're not beds. I am not putting that in. Okay, base game you will. Maybe I can put in this. That's nice. I like that. And what about the wallpaper? Do I want some funky wallpaper up in here? Ooh, what about this one? That is kind of funky. Why do I like that? I like that. I think I'm going to put that in. Oh, wow. I surprised myself every Every day. Mm. And you know what? It's good to surprise yourself every now and then to just keep the relationship with you and you a little bit spicy. Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna put this creepy little cat on there. Wow. Truly beautiful. That little guy. And maybe I can have her on the wall too. I don't... Do not ask me about the curtains. I, d I don't want to talk about it, okay? Just... No, no. But do we have any Ottomans? Um... Okay, I can put up this stony one. Yeah. And I'm gonna stack some carpets again. Oh. And for the dresser... Oh, we have a dresser, people. I could put it in the closet, but... Oh. Oh, no. I can't put that in the middle. Okay, we're not gonna have a closet. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very, very quick no from Nora. <laughs> 
but I'm gonna put up this chair in the corner. Oh, that's real scruffed up. And I can also put up this big mirror. And this flower. That's really the only good flower we have. <laughs> plant, I mean. No, it's not a plant. Or it is a plant, but it is also a flower in a vase. I can also squeeze some pictures in here. What do I want? Do I want Bob and Eliza? No. I want these people. Don't know who they are, but I'm gonna put them up. Well, Alright, for the ensuite bathroom. I want my hexagon tiles again. And maybe some funky wallpaper. Who knows? I'm gonna choose that one. Beautiful. And I'm gonna put my frickety frackety sink in with that mirror, maybe. Yeah. And a hand towel. Cannot forget about that. And I'm gonna put my trusty toilet in as well. <laughs> and maybe I can put this in and just pretend that they're magazines. Is that a good idea? Or I think it's a good idea. And I can also put up this shelf right there. And I can place this little crystallarium in there. Beautiful. All right, now for the bathtub. Do we have a bathtub? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, I should have checked that before. I said I was going to put it in the bathtub, but whatever. We have a bathtub. <laughs> Good gracious me. Oh, maybe I can put in this bath mat. It isn't my favorite bath mat. Is it even a bath mat? Oh, it's a decaf underfoot. Oh, okay. I think that's one of the mats that you use to not get tired when you stand up a lot, isn't it? Because I mean, we had that at the retail store that I worked at and those were magical. I had a wonderful time with those mats, you know. <laughs> Moving on. And we're going to move on to the hallway. And I think for the hallway, I want some different wallpaper as well. So maybe, ooh, some green. Yes. Oh, you know what? I do not want to do the hallway right now. I want to begin with the toddler bedroom because I don't know what to do in there. And I'm kind of nervous. So for the wallpaper. I mean, we can go for this one. That's nice and lovely. And for the flooring, I think I am going to change it up to the carpet. I am allowed to do that because I vetoed the flooring and I'm going to use my veto. Bam! And I think we do not have any uh, kids stuff. No? Okay. <laughs> Base game we go. I mean, that would be weird if they had an infant crib in one of the older packs, you know. Because they didn't have infants. So why would they have a crib for an infant? What are you even talking about now, Nora? I am just going to put up my chair. Maybe some old board games. Yeah, sure. And a little cat, plushie, toy, whatever. And that little phone box. And as usual, I'm going to stack me carpets because oh, we're lacking. And then I can put a dresser right there. And now I need to find some Nicky Nikes that actually works for a toddler. And can I find that? I'm not really sure, but I'm going to try. All right, I think I kind of worked it out. You know, I put up some toys, some books, crystallarium, a plant. I mean, there isn't really that much for an infant in the base games, but I can try. I can put up this unicorn and this little dollhouse. Bada bum, bada bum. Mm. Most of the toddler stuff are from that pack. What was that pack called again? Growing together? I do believe. So, yeah, now. All right, that was the infant's bedroom. Now I'm going to move on to the hallway. <laughs> and I think I want a little desk nook in that corner. So I'm going to change up the wallpaper. This one maybe that can be funky. Like so actually. And I've also put up some columns but you can't see them when they zoom in which is so annoying but whatever. I'm gonna put up my desk. Boom. Do we have a computer? No we do not. Okay. <laughs> well alrighty then base game computer is and I'm also gonna find some other nicky likes that fits the theme of this magical place. Magical place. I mean this Tudor home. And there we go. I put up a carpet as well. Some pictures with that scary lady on them. And then just some stuff. Some beautiful stuff. And then maybe I can squeeze in the bookshelf there too. Hmm. Sure. I mean what is stopping me really from doing that? My Thing. Imagine if there were somebody stopping me from doing that. That would have been kind of hilarious. I had a game boss. All right, I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What am I going to put on that wall? Maybe I can put up <laughs> this one. <laughs> sure. I am just going to move on to the bathroom now. I know. Hexagon tiles. And I'm going to put in my sink. Boom. And the mirror. And my bath mat. No, it's not a bath mat. Gosh darn it, Nora. <laughs> and toilet. <laughs> and toilet paper. The bathrooms are so repetitive in these fields because we don't really have that much to choose from. And the houses are supposed to be kind of tiny. So then, of course, the bathrooms are also going to be kind of tiny. Um, so they're just gonna be very repetitive, but maybe... No, I don't have a silver lining to that, actually. Now for the teens bedroom that was gonna be in here. I mean, what can I do? Ooh, okay, wait. I really want to put in a closet. But, but where am I gonna have it? Maybe I can have it here. I mean, sure, and then I just squeeze the frickety bookshelf over. Okay, I think that's a good plan. I'm gonna do that plan. And then for the beds. Yeah, we can put in this bed. That's all right with me. And <laughs> what if you put in this uh, little box as a nightstand? The one from the Star Wars thingy thing? Because <gasps> maybe this teen is like a really big fan of Star Wars. That is the law for this room. I like it. Maybe you can also put up some random stuff on the walls with some random posters. <laughs> oh, Ghibli. I think maybe. Yeah, yeah. And also just a random box. It's as I always say, teens and them boxes. Ooh, and in this corner, we can put up a desk. Have a desk moment. That fits in with a desk chair. Boopity bum. Yes. A nice desk chair. And then we need a computer and they can get that computer. Beautiful. Made up my mind. Ooh, and then above the computer, we can have these uh, rusty, rusty shelves. And then I'm going to try to find some samples in an axe or something and just put them in those cages. The cages. <laughs> the Star Wars cages. And that's what I did. Put up some Star Wars stuff and some trophies. Very nice. And maybe also on the wall right 
day. I can put up that. Boom, shabalam. Teens and all that. I have done my research. That sounds so weird. I did not know. And what about this flag? They also love theater for some reason. And they also love the rocket science. The rocket science. And a squiggly squiggly lamp. Boop. And without me, friends, we are now done with the first house of today. Wobbity bum. Oh, deeply. Look at this house. What a house it was. I mean, I couldn't find anything to separate the kitchen from the dining room, but we shall live. Okay, we shall live. <laughs> There's a second floor as well. <laughs> All right, what a house, what a house. And now, now me peeps, we are going to begin with the second house of the day. And it's going to be right here. Ooh. Oh, and if you're wondering what these things are, I have decided that I am allowed to put in some helping plants from the debug menu because most of the times when I have plants, the selection is not good. All right, and I just sometimes need some helping plants to make it all work so i'm allowed to do that i have allowed myself that luxury to not go insane so thank you and by helping plants i mean that they are supposed to help the plants that i put in if that makes any sense like they aren't the star of the show they're just there to help so for example this old bush that's the star of the show and then i had this bush besides it to just kind of help it blend in all that shebang yeah good let's uh generate <laughs> and i'm gonna generate now one two three go wait oh okay we have spa day hmm not my favorite stuff bowling that stuff i mean it's decent okay sure oh and we have have love struck okay good pack oh and then we have the cozy kitsch kit i have never used that pack before i barely even know what's in that pack i gotta be honest <laughs> so maybe it's good maybe it's not but um, maybe <laughs> I mean, it is a creator kit, so my hopes are high. Somewhat high. Can never be too high, though. It is The Sims. Right. And how many people are gonna live in this house? Let's spin for it. Okay. We're gonna have four people. I mean, that is a good, nice size of a family. So I'll accept that. All right, let's find out who these people are. One, two, three, spin. Okay, we're gonna have an elderly person. That is good. I can accept that. Because why wouldn't I? <laughs> okay, who's the next one? Give it to me. A young adult. Okay. Who is the next person? Oh, a baby. All right. We can have a baby, people. Who's gonna gonna be the last person please be good oh it's gonna be a team what a lovely lovely family indeed and my game crashed listen that lovely oh <laughs> okay people um i had to move to a different lot all right the game was lagging so much it was crashing if nothing was working so i had to move to a new lot but don't you worry the old lot is over there in the distance if you can see it we haven't moved far and when i'm done with this house i will try my best to move it on to the original lot all right but you know i made the little street just for the ambiances so we don't feel completely like we're in a new place. These new places are scary. All right, what do I want to build? I want to build a little family home, a cozy family home, maybe a little bit Spanish inspired since we got the love strike pack, but I can't promise anything. But I'm gonna make a nice cozy family home and that's the plan. Okay, so let's just start with the box like so. I mean, we can make it a little bit bigger, maybe like so. Yeah, and then we can have a part that goes out there. Maybe this part can go a little bit out as well. Not really sure, but I mean, we shall try. Oh, maybe we can have a little dot out here too. Just a little one. Yeah. And then on top, it can go sort of the same. And then maybe I can have a balcony right there. Yes. Or actually, I want a little indent here too. And an indent right here too. So we can have some roofs up in there. I'm making fun gear. All right. So for the roof, we can uh, start with that one. Oh, that was horrible. Do I want to start with that? I mean, maybe it could be nice. I can also put a roof right here too. Oh, not like that though. What am I doing? And then on this teeny tiny little part, I can put up one of these roofs. Make it funky. Like so. And on these roofs, I'm going to do the same. Just a little bit taller. And there we go. The roofs are ready. Oh, and now for this roof. How could I forget that roof? I think I'm gonna go for a half hipped roof. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I'm a genius, people. Who would have thanked that today? Okay, now the roof is all said and done. And I think it's time for me to do the layout of this house. Because <laughs> I also get to do that, and I'm gonna do that right now. To make sure that the house actually works before I do any any sort of detailing. And welcome back. I have done the layout of this house. Had an enjoyable time. And this is what I came up with. Yes. <laughs> so, this little part right here. I don't know what to call it. I really don't. But that's like an outside area. I'll show you later but that's an outside area but any usuals we also have the entryway and hallway and then in here we have an office situation and then we have the living room and the kitchen and the dining nook and then out here we have another outside situation and then on the second floor we got another hallway and then we have the primary bedroom right here and the ensuite bathroom and then right here we have the teens bedroom and the teens ensuite bathroom mm -hmm. and over here we got the nursery for the baby and another bathroom and then right here we have the elderly person that room and that was me house people that was me house and now back to the exterior of the house Alrighty. what do we have for the roof patterns oh we have this one. Oh, it's not really the vibe that i wanted but it's the vibe that we got and we're gonna deal with it people we will survive what about the roof trims oh i mean that could be nice what was i so worried about this is nice i like it i, I really do and that wallpaper we have lots of choices but i think i want to go for this sort of um, salmon pink orange ish pink ish sure i'm gonna have that color and then for the wings 
windows what we have here Ooh, oh, i really want these windows but they never fit because they're so freaky freaky tall they look ridiculous and i sadly cannot have this house as medium walls because then all of my freaking houses over there is gonna be messed up so yeah no we're gonna go for these windows in white maybe yeah that's the safest bet for now now i'm gonna place them sort of neat and nicely sort of and i can also pop this door in Boop. all right now for the outside areas that i was talking about <laughs> so lovingly i am thinking of putting up archways right here for a nice moment and that was it really um yeah oh and i have to do it in the back too all right how am i gonna do this maybe like so just all along there if i just do it correctly oh my gosh ah there we go no <laughs> not there we go i am combusting i don't know what i'm doing anymore but sort of like so and i'm also gonna put in some floorings maybe this one. Ooh, i can maybe alternate it with this one that could be kind of cool and it was sort of kind of cool okay i'm gonna go with that and then actually on a little balcony i'm gonna make a little moment with some plants maybe these ones no this one too all right i'm gonna alternate them sort of like so with the plants mm -hmm. and then maybe a little plant part right there and some lights that's always a good idea to have some lights people <gasps> Ooh, and some string lights oh my gosh do we have string lights yes we indeed had some string lights and i'm trying to put them up ah there we go i put up the string lights i made it in the end people oh and of course this little number plate oh that is so cute and what about this little wooden thing as a welcome rug outside welcome rug i don't know what that is called and i can also put up some chairs with of course a little table in the middle why am i doing this first i should be doing the landscaping oh well i mean i made a little nice outside area moment now i'm gonna begin with the landscaping oh, okay i had a distractive moment i do apologize all right so for the landscaping i'm just gonna do some sketching just so we know that we're all on the same page so i think i want some flower bed situation right in front of there and that can go all the way down here and down here but that's gonna be two tiles people two tiles and then we can also have a flower bed in here maybe and in front of there and maybe in front of there too oh and i can also maybe have some frickety frickety bushes out here sure sounds like a plan people ratio and i do want this place to be filled with flooding stone flooding and i'm also gonna alternate them with this one because i think that's kind of nice i like that that vibe that ambiance and there we go my uh, <laughs> outside flooding area all right now for the flower beds i uh, need a little fence moment but i don't like any of the fences and i'm not gonna use my veto on them because i'm too scared so maybe i can use the debug fences just size them down and also use my tool mod and then just elevate them even more down i mean sure that can work now i just need to find some plants Ooh, oh yeah there we have some cacti and uh not that many bushes oh we can use this tree as a bush if we just close our eyes okay i'm gonna do that i'm gonna be planting away people and i'm gonna be planting in some bushes some supporting bushes some base game bushes supporting having a supporting role people and let's see what happens i hope i make it through <laughs> and there we go i put up my plants my cacti and some more cacti more cacti there we got my bushes over there which are actually trees and a big old palm tree that disappears the moment you step into the build so that's kind of annoying but it is there people it is there and i'm also gonna put up this little picnic table because that's kind of cute and i'm also gonna put up a bench and a fat moment right about there boom oh wait i forgot about this little planting area moment oh jubilee okay i'm gonna do that <laughs> well all right i'm gonna be putting in my stony stony fences and uh also my bushes my sweet sweet bushes and my supporting bushes and it's gonna be a lovely lovely day and here they all are in all its glory when i zoom in they disappear but whatever and i did a little curve moment because i thought why not i'm already here you know let's make some curves oh and that's right i'm gonna put up some bushes in the back here too i need to do that as well okay i'm gonna do that oh i forgot there is a lot of bushing today the bushes must go on the bushing must go on okay no right chill out it's not that late it's a little bit late but it's not that late put up your bushes and that's exactly what i did i put up my bushes uh, uh, wonderful real proud of that Ooh, what are we gonna have in this outside area by the way i do wonder <laughs> what if we put up a little massage table over here since we have it you know and then we can also put up some weights right there oh and they can also have a little meditation corner in here with their incense <laughs> sure and maybe just a normal bench right there with a the guitar that's the guitar bench all right so for the flooring and wallpaper what do we want i mean i think i want this sort of vibe that could be really nice for us and then for the wallpaper ooh, i kind of want this vibe this vibe right here nice simple wallpaper like so i mean we can change up the colors as we go but for now it's gonna stay like this well okay okay let's start with the kitchen shall we i think there's a splendid idea and i think i want a different wallpaper in here maybe the wood slats Ooh, i like that now do we have some counters oh we do that's right not my favorite gotta be honest but i'm gonna put them up <laughs> as one does do we have any fridges oh uh, we have a fridge this one. Oh, yeah that is a nice fridge <laughs> I'm not gonna veto that just yet because there might be something more horrible. There might be people. What about the stove? Do we have a stove? No, we do not. Base game we go. 
maybe I can go for this one. Oh, okay. I wanted my kitchen to go like so. But uh, <laughs> look at that. That um, doesn't look good. Maybe I can put up a half wall. Will that fix everything? Yeah, I can go with the half wall. That fixed raggedy raggedy everything. Finally, something goes right for Nora. And then I do indeed want a different wallpaper for the kitchen. That looks nice. I like that. And now we're going to put up my cabinets. All right. I'm going to put up my cabinets and it's going to be lovely. Nora's not tired at all. No, she's not. Not when the kitchen's around, you know. Ooh, and I'm also going to put up my kitchen naked and nice because Nora's never too tired for kitchen naked and nice. She is not. Never. And there we go. I put up my kitchen naked and nice. You know, fruit bowl, some towels, some soap. The whole shebang is here. All right, yo. Now for the dining table. Do we have any good options? I mean, I can go for that. And another color. Yeah. With some chairs. Oh, we need bar stools. Okay. Oh, woof. What about these ones? Yeah, I like those. I'm going to put them in. Boom. And maybe this carpet could work. Sure. Why not? And also a big old lamp over the table. Yes. And a fan in the corner. Sure. And in that little corner, we can put up a little uh, rectangle table. And I can maybe squeeze in the fan plant on that. Oh, I mean, sure. It wasn't my greatest move, but it was a move. All right. So what am I going to have on that wall? That's a pretty big wall. Ooh, what if I put up these ones? Oh, that could be funky. I like that. I sized them down a little bit and I'm feeling good about it. Ooh, all right. Now for the curtains. Oh, yeah, that it's these curtains. Oh, gee, Billy. I do not like these curtains. Something is wrong with these curtains. Am I going to veto them? I'm not sure. I have to see. Well, all right. Let's move on to the office, actually, because I want to work on the office. Oh, that's a lovely color. I want that. No, wait, actually, I don't want to do that. I'm feeling the vibes of the living room more than the office, more than ever. And what type of color do I want in here? Ooh, what about yellow? Oh, that could be nice. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Happy with that. What about the couches? Ooh, oh, that's a lovely. But I think I'm going to get it in that color. Ooh, lovely. What about the coffee table? I mean, we could go for the pitch one. That's nice. It has some nice vibes as well. What about the carpet? Oh, we can go for this carpet. I love this carpet so much. Do we have a fireplace? Oh, we do have a fireplace. Oh, that is lovely. This is my first time working with this pack, so I'm just uh, flabbergasted by everything, you know? <laughs> I didn't know it was this lovely. I gotta be honest. I did not know. I mean, that is stunning. Except for the curtains. They can go and do something. I don't know. And then over on this wall, we can maybe have some shelves. Yeah. And maybe also some Nikki Nax on those shelves. That could be lovely. I like that. Yes. Ooh, and some pictures. Oh, yeah. And then right by the couch, we can have this little stool. I mean, that stool really reminds me of those Ikea stools. <laughs> I love that. And then over on this wall, we can have this big old picture. Right, sure. <gasps> they even have a light switch. Oh, I'm gonna put that up. Oh my god. And also this picture. And then, you know, we're kind of lacking uh, with the picture variety section. So I'm just gonna put that one up uh, from the debug menu. Hope you're happy with that. And I'm moving on. Oh, it disappeared. Well, how great. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the office. And do we have a desk? Oh, we do. Lovely. I'm gonna put it right there with a nice old chair. And we do not have a computer. So I'm gonna put up a base game one. This one. Boom. With maybe some little nickety necks. And that carpet too. Chabalam. And then I do believe I want to put up those new bookshelves. These ones. Oh, in that corner. Oh, yeah, that could be very nice. I'm feeling it. And I also need to squeeze them into that corner. Can I squeeze that one in? She kind of did. And then I'm also going to put some on top here. I don't know if that's allowed, but I am doing it. <laughs> and also for the ambiance, people, I'm going to put on some sweet, sweet naked necks. Just for the ambiances. And why did I put that one there? That was not supposed to happen. Well, all right, that was kind of embarrassing. That was not meant to happen. But I'm going to put up my lights. <laughs> and some more pictures, too. And maybe I can squeeze a picture in there, too. Oh, I managed. All right, so what about this entryway? What color do we want in here? Oh, maybe this green one again. Oh, that's kind of lovely. Okay. Very nice. Do we have a hallway table? Okay, we do. I'm going to put this one up. I'm not really sure if the color is matching with the green uh, wallpaper, but it works for Nora in this moment of time. Yeah. And maybe also this picture too. Okay. And then I want a little carpet runner. What about this one? It doesn't really work with the colors. What about this? No. What about this? No. Oh, yikes. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the freaky freaky yoga mats. Now I'm just going to place them right along here. I, I think I've just given up on life and I'm moving on to and I'm moving on to this little hallway and I think I want to blue moment. Oh, yes. Ooh, with this hallway table, that can work. Yeah. And can I find some Nikita Nax to put on that hallway table? I mean, we're kind of lacking. We are. All right. I feel like I just put up the most random stuff ever, but <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> but we can also put up this carpet. Oh, yeah. I like that. And those godforsaken curtains. But with these curtains, I took the big one and then just sized them down because I thought it looked nicer. I don't know if it did, but yeah, no. Let's move on to the second floor. Ooh, righty. So what room are we going to begin with first? Uh, I think we can begin with the teen's bedroom that was going to be right here. For the teen's bedroom, what do I want? I mean, we could go for pink walls, as a start at least. And then for the bed, do we have any beds? Oh, we do. Oh, I can go for this kind of vibe. Oh, yeah. That is a real teen bed. And then for the accent wall, maybe I can put up this wall. Ooh, 
I like that wallpaper. There is some good ambience in the room today with the wallpapers, you know? And then I think above the bed, we can have some shelves that I've sized down a little bit. Oh, that was too much. Huh? And what am I going to put on those shelves? What if I put up some candles? <laughs> I don't want to overcrowd the accent wall. That would be a crime. And then for the carpet situation. Oh, no. What am I going to do? <laughs> Carpets and curtains are forever going to be my curse. All right. It's a long while later. And I, um, I landed on that thing. It isn't a carpet. It's a picnic blanket. But it works. Moving on. Moving on to this wall. I'm going to put up some pictures. But they're not pictures. They're posters. And, uh, small little Polaroids. Small and creepy Polaroids, actually. All right. So over in this corner, we need a dresser. Oh. Well, how great. We got a costume trunk. Well, that is not going to happen today. I'm going to veto that. I'm vetoing it. And I'm going to put in the base game one. Boom, shamala. I don't even know if that's considered a dresser. But for safety reasons, I'm just going to veto it. All right. And then on top there, I want some shelves that I've sized down a little bit. Ooh. And then I'm going to have some string lights under it. Oh, that's going to be lovely. I absolutely love the string lights in this game. It just makes everything so much better. It really does. And I'm also going to put up this rainbow. Oh, maybe I can squeeze in a little poof right there. Yeah, we are. And some more little pictures on the walls. And those godforsaken curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. And we're gonna move on to our sweet bathroom. And what do we want for the wallpaper flooring? Ooh, we can go for this. Ooh, yes. Like a mintish green bathroom. I can vibe with that. That's a very mint green ambiance. But, <laughs> okay. Do we have any bathroom stuff, by the way? Oh, we have this sink. Right. Perfect. But we have a nice mirror. So, maybe it will be alright. If we just close our eyes, everything will be alright in end. Yeah, now, do we have a toilet? Oh, we have a toilet. Not my favorite, but it's it's alright. It's alright, people. We gotta deal with what we have in this bathroom. And I can't really fit in the shower in here. So, I mean, that's gonna suck for the team but that's reality, people. Not everyone's gonna get a shower in the bathroom, all right? Not everyone. But you can get a carpet, and um, that's it. All right, now for this ensuite bathroom, I want to do something. I do. And that something is to put up these tiles. Oh, that's gonna be so lovely. I love that. Oh, uh, what am I gonna do here? That's gonna block off the window. Can I size it down? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. Rices averted. No, that's not right. I, I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna put up my sink and the mirror and some toothbrushes right there with some hand soap also. And hand towel. Oop. Oh, we cannot forget the toilet. And the toilet paper. And maybe also a picture of the toilet. Yeah, that can work. All right, now for the bathtub. Do we have a bathtub? Oh, we do. I can use this one. That's that's all right with me. Not bad at all. I do, I gotta say. I'm not really sure why I started with the ensuite before I did the bedroom, but I did. And it was amazing. All right, so onto the bedroom. What type of wallpaper do we want in there? Oh, maybe I can get a blue moment. Yes. And then for the bed, I mean, we have to get this hard bed in that color. That is lovely. I love the ambiances in there. And she was also really proud of the ambiances that she made. And nothing's gonna take that away from her. Mm -mm. And I can also get a rug. Boom. Ooh, and an ottoman. Oh, we finally have a nice ottoman up in there. And over in this corner, I can squeeze in a dress with, of course, some dresser nickety knacks on there. And also a mirror that I need to use my tool mod on to raise it down. And there we go. I raise down the mirror. Don't you worry. And then in this corner, we can have a chair with maybe a guitar. They love them guitars, these people. And also these funky little bookshelves. Bookcases. Bookshelves. Bookshelves. Bookcases. Is there a difference? I mean, if there was a difference, I really wouldn't know. Yeah, no. <laughs> that is not Nora's expertise. Oh, and by the way, I found this. Uh, what is it called? Petty Master 3000. And I thought I could put it there. They might enjoy that. And also maybe a little stool. No, that is a table, people. And I can put some incense on there. And then, of course, I need a little meditation stool. Oh my gosh. This is her little meditation corner. Because, I mean, there's only one adult in this family. So I feel like she's a single mom and she's trying her best. Oh, those who gosh for taking curtains. I cannot look at them. But a radio. Now for the elderly person's bedroom. I think I want a pink vibe in there too. This is going to be a very feminine home. But I do like the vibes. And I'm also going to put in this bed. That is a lovely. And maybe for a little accent wall, I can put up this wallpaper. It could be a vibe. I really could. And some nighttime tables. <laughs> no. I really thought that I would make it through one video without saying nighttime tables, but apparently I could indeed not. But I'm gonna put up my shelves over the bed, like so. And I'm gonna put up some vases. Boom. Maybe this incense thingy thingy. Yeah, that can go up there. And some little heart books. Boop. And also the flowers. Bam. And also these ones. Yeah, that spiced it up real nice. Oh, and I also wanna put it in the fan because uh, grandma might get hot. But I wanna put it in the corner. And I can't. So I need to use my tool mod. All right. Uh. And that's what she did. She used a tool mod to put it in the corner. Now. And she's also very happy. Can't you see I'm happy? And maybe also a fan of the bed. Yeah, okay. And then for the dress, uh, I think I'm gonna go with this closet because it's skinny and we need that space so grandma can get around, around town, the town of a dresser. <gasps> can we put up a punching bag? <laughs> grandma has been exercising, okay? I'm gonna put that in. And I can also have a chair in that corner with a reading lamp maybe and this little table. Sure, that is an ambiance and a half. Oh, and then I can put up this painting. That is lovely. But we also need another painting. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm gonna put up this painting. I love that the lamp perfectly hides the naked man, you know, because grandma has some taste, but she also has some decencies, so she's hiding him up. And what a bedroom it was, people. All right, now for the hallway. What wallpaper do we want for the hallway? I mean, maybe yellow? Could that be nice? Why is it so bright in here, by the way? <laughs> I'm not even gonna question it. I'm just gonna put up my table with also some table naked in next. Table, hallway, naked in next. It's good for us all. Oh, and also these pictures. Boop. And we can also have a picture here. And maybe a plant in the corner. Another plant in the corner. And also a long carpet runner. Do not look at the seams. And by the seams, I mean edges. Do not look at them. They do not exist. No, no, no. All right, now for the bathroom. What can we do for the bathroom? I can put up a sink, maybe. And a normal mirror, but in pink. Look at that. And some toothbrushes. And some soap. And of course, a hand towel. Boop. Oh, and the toilet, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? All right, now for the bathtub or the shower. Do we have a shower? Oh, we do. Oh, that's lovely. I'm gonna put that in. In pink. Oh, yes. And I'm also gonna put up that shower glass window, which is, by the freaking way, just a normal window. Like, people said that it could be placed without a wall. And true, but it is a normal window. Like, look, normal window. So I don't know who's lying, but somebody's lying. And it ain't nice either, people. The lie. Not even about shower glass windows. Mm -mm. But, but okay. Now for the nursery. Ooh. I'm gonna get some pink again. And then what do I want for flooring? I mean, I definitely do not want tiles. For the baby. Do we have some carpets? Oh, is this a carpet? I did not know that. <laughs> Maybe we can have that. Sure. I mean, we can try. It's a bit much, but we can try. Do we have a bassinet? Of course not. Wow. Into base game. And I'm gonna play see me bassinet. And then in that corner, we can have this hard chair. Oh, that is so cute. And then the cabinets again. It's going up. Hey, Paul. I'm also gonna put up that little heart plushie. And what about a lamp? Boop. And maybe this picture collage. It isn't very baby-like, but our wall decorations for our baby, it's very slim pickings, all right? I mean, what do you want me to put up? That guy? For the baby? No, I don't want to traumatize them. Oh, and then for the curtains. I do not want those. I refuse. What about this one? No. Don't we have another one that is hidden somewhere? I need to find that. Where is that? Can she ever find it? Okay, here it is. The tassel rope curtain. For some reason, that is under sculptures, so it was really easy to find. <laughs> Can I size it down? And will that work? Ah, sure. I'm just gonna put up my dresser, and then I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna skedaddle. I'm gonna skedaddle all the way home. Which isn't that impressive, since I'm already home, you know? I didn't really think about that. Um... Oh my gosh, can you click? Click? What? I don't know. It did click on. <laughs> After a few tries, it clicked on. Oh, and I'm also gonna put up this one, the unicorn teddy bear. And then, maybe a little shelf right there. <gasps> oh, and then I can put the cute little radio on there. With a teeny tiny little light. Oop, and that was indeed the nursery. And it's kinda cute. I like it. Happy with that. And with that, I do believe that the whole house is now finito. I absolutely love this house. I gotta be honest. I love this house so much. I love the colors. I love the vibes. Whoa. And it turned out pretty good. I do not like the roofing though. But we just got a deal. I've already used up my veto. And ooh. That's right. Now I have to move this house over to the original lot. And that's gonna be so much fun. All right, well, I'm gonna try to do that. And then I do believe it's time for the house tour. So look out for that, people. Well, all right, all right. Welcome to the house tour, people. It has started. Oh, and yet again, I'm just gonna do the picture house tour because a lot is so laggy that if I try to do a house tour with all the finicky stuff, it's just not gonna go good and I'm gonna cry and I do not wanna cry tonight. So here you go. Hope you enjoy the house tour. <laughs> and I do gotta say, I love the houses so much. They're so different to each other, but I love every single vibe. I love the ambiances. I love them all. And I'm pretty happy with that, you know? I am. And now, on to a completely different subject, and the subject title is Advent Calendars. <laughs> I mean, it is December right now, so I thought it would be appropriate to talk about Advent calendars. But I just, I do not know how to start conversations. One of my many weaknesses in life. So you just gotta deal with it, alright? You just gotta. But Advent calendars, I'm just so curious. Because in my mind, I thought that only the Nordic countries really celebrated Advent. Because I've never really heard about it than outside the Nordic countries. So I'm just really wondering, do you celebrate Advent in your country? Or do you just get an Advent calendar? Because in the Nordic countries, or I can't vouch for every one of them, but at least in Norway, Advent is a big deal. It's almost bigger than Christmas. <laughs> you know, we got the advent calendar, we got the advent lights that you have to light up every Sunday in December, and you also have to sing a little poem when you light the candles. I could sing the poem right now, but I've totally forgotten the poem, <laughs> and I don't think you want to hear the poem either. <laughs> And we also have Advent TV shows that goes on every year. And people fight about which Advent show that's going to be on that at core. It's a big deal. We love our Advent. And also the Advent colors. All the purple, you believe. Um, <laughs> so yeah, do you celebrate Advent? Is Advent a big deal in your country? Or do you just like the Advent calendars aspect of it? I'm just wondering. Because I'm curious. Also, my Advent calendar this year, which is the same as every single year, is my Nespresso capsule calendar. I know it sounds pretty weird to have a Nespresso capsule Advent calendar. But I've had it for so many years. And I just love it. <laughs> so much. I love getting a little different Nespresso capsule every morning, you know? So I love my coffee. I drink coffee every morning. And to get a little surprise for the coffee capsules, I like that. And yes, it's ridiculously overpriced.
nice. And yes, almost all the coffee pods taste exactly the same, but I still get immense enjoy out of it. And that's all that counts, hopefully. <laughs> but alright, yo, I do now believe that the house is done, which means that this video is also done. And this is the outro. Boom. Um, <laughs> if you for some reason want to download these houses, uh, you can't right now, but they will be up on my gallery when I finish the whole build. So look out for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, because it really does help me out. So um, thank you. But only if you want to. Only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.